Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survival Russia. So quick little video today because it's like 9-10 days since I made an upload the last time. My hand is fine, as you can see, my hand is normal. I mean seriously. I thought it was something else, but the local doctor, she said that uh, it was an allergic reaction to uh, an insect bite and she gave me a big shot of some antihistamine and uh, it started to go down. But that was a serious, serious reaction. I never tried that before. Today we're going to do a fast little video, as I said. I'm going to show you a really awesome hack from the Siberian natives, the Evenki tribe. So the Evenki tribe. I've shown you a lot of stuff what these guys they do. I said it's most likely the largest tribe, They're the guys who, uh, what you can say, mm, who still uses most of the the old ways of theirs. They also use modern ways. More about that later. It's not going to be too long. But anyway, they've given us Siberian log fire. They've given us the cooking stand that you can make for shelter as well. They gave, they gave us the the setup with the forked branches as I made a video about how to make a, a kitchen, drying rack, whatnot. They have a lot of awesome ways to do things, old uh, ways of doing uh, traps with bows and all sorts of stuff. But we're gonna look at how they collect uh, conifer branches. You say, oh, but you know, sometimes we collect conifer branches. Now I'm collecting some for the sauna, banya. But to make a long story short, I wanna show you how they collect branches from uh, pine, balsam fir, spruce, uh, tamarack and uh, all these uh, good trees, right? Because sometimes you guys, you want to make uh, pine spruce or whatever shelters, which are not really that awesome, but we can use it for bedding for definite. Spruce and pine and, and tamarack, ah, you, you collect a big bunch and you, ah, you walk with it and it's not really that awesome. But they have an awesome way, so let's get started. Let me show you. We're not gonna take too many from the east tree. It's an awesome little folder, new folder we're going to take a look at, not today. But anyway, we're going to take some of these guys here. And then this video will soon be over, but you'll have to look at this awesome little hack here. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. So here we have an axe, it's a Siberian style, so Siberian native style axe means that it's chisel ground. On one side I have videos on it and so on and so forth. Right. But well, what they do is <coughs> put the axe down on the ground here, like that. It can actually stand. And you of course know, see that they are bent a little bit like this, right? They're curving this way. So if you take your branch, put it around the axe like this, and another one like that, and like this. Like that. And we just continue. And I have some uh, info for you because uh, when I saw this guy here, uh, how, or oh, when I saw the, this guy using this method uh, at the same occasion, I saw something else. Something awesome, something interesting. But yeah, I think you get the idea, right? We can, of course, stack a whole lot more, but uh, I don't really need that. We can see, we can lift it up, we can sling it over our back. And then we can walk with our branches. That's pretty awesome. And of course, if we need a lot of them, we can take a pine or spruce or whatever, tree, delimit. So we have a much, much longer stick, but we'll leave one stick in the bottom and then we can just add, 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 add. I think it's a really, really, really awesome. I never thought of it. Of course, of course the even have thought of it because uh, they have <laughs> lived in the nature, in the woods and in the fields on the tundra for thousands of years. Anyway, I think that's just a little fun little hack to, to share with you on a boring Wednesday when I have been uh, teaching English in local school. But as I said, at the same occasion, this guy showed me a really, really awesome shelter. And this is actually a method that they have, uh, which is made of modern materials because they don't only use the old ways. They actually only use the really, uh, what you can say, useful old ways. They use a lot of modern materials and they have a super simple shelter, which I would actually like to make. 
uh, it takes some materials. But see guys, earlier, when I was monetized and so on, it was not a problem for me just to buy stuff. I see something, I buy it, I use it, we show it on video and tra -la, 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 la This is not the case any longer. So, as you know, I have a professional sewing machine and stuff like that, right? And I would like to stitch up one of these uh, shelters. It was really, really small and very, very light. So I have to buy two different uh, materials, fabrics. If you want to support that, <laughs> that project, go over on Boosty, leave a donation. And we'll still stitch up a shelter. You can make it easily also on a non-professional sewing machine. But it's really light, it's really small, and it's really, really awesome. And it's basically good for the summer to keep out mosquitoes and to keep out rain for a limited uh, time, of course, and uh, to some degree in the winter. So uh, hit, the, hit yourself up. In the description, links to Boosty. Subscribe Star also works, but Boosty is much faster for me. So uh, do that if you feel like uh, supporting the, pro the little projects. As I said, not going to be very expensive. We'll see. But guys, I just wanted to share this awesome little hack here with you guys from this boring Wednesday. So guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the little uh, stitching project. And until next time, get out of the train, get it done, do something awesome. And see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>